There's a movement across this country of public defenders running for prosecutor. And why? Because I genuinely believe that Jackie Lacey believes she is doing the right thing. Because she has been in this office her entire career. This is all she's seen. The racial disparities are normal. This is all she knows. And I am coming at it from a completely different perspective because that is how we get reform. DA Lace question. I just need to very quickly bring it back to something Ms. Lacey just said about making poor decisions when talking about racial disparities. If you're black in LA, you are 13 times more likely to be arrested. And I refuse to believe that if you are black in LA, you are 13 times more likely to make bad decisions. Okay. So we can't deny the facts that 62 to 68 percent of people in our LA County jails who are suffering from mental illness have been determined to be eligible for diversion. We can't deny that fact. But what do we do about it? What do we practically do about it? I have ideas for what we should do in LA County, our district attorney's office, to start expanding access to diversion and to start turning away people suffering from mental illness at the charging stage to not even file a case because some people suffering from mental illness shouldn't even be in the criminal justice system. So what I would do as district attorney, I would start by looking at the recommendations that are made by the district attorney as to who gets mental health diversion. You talked about ignorance. I have talked to the public defenders in the courtrooms who are consistently denied, whose clients are consistently denied mental health diversion. And there are ways to do it outside of ODR. That's, that's time. What we know in LA County jails that only 33% of the people in the LA County jail are facing serious charges. So we know that we are overcharging low level offenses. And Ms. Lacey referenced uh, racial disparities. 80% of people in the LA County jail are black and brown. This data can't be ignored. We have to be proactive. We can't just sit back and say the, the justice system is racially disparate. Um, we can't just sit back and watch it happen. We have to take active steps to reduce racial disparities. As district attorney, what I would do is commission outside audits of the data to show me what needs to be changed in my office. Where are we failing LA County? Why are all of the people locked up, the majority of people locked up black and Latinx? What do we need to do to fix it? And one of the things that I would do as district attorney is begin to scale back the criminalization of poverty and start to look at ways that we can hold people accountable who are causing homelessness. So I would develop a task force to investigate the big developers and the corporate landlords who conduct illegal practices to increase the rents and to evict people. As district attorney, we need a justice system that works for all people. Instead of criminalizing the homeless, let's stop homelessness. Let's fight homelessness. I think we do, I do think we need to talk about victims because in our district attorney's office, we still have a practice of locking up victims to coerce them to testify. As district attorney, I would place more focus on listening to the community, listening to victims, and putting victims first. Not just pursuing a conviction at all costs and disregarding the will of victims. Those that have opposed reform uh, conveniently lack one thing, data and facts. When we look at the only systematic study that studied the results of Prop 47, in California, it found that it did not result in an uptick in property crime or any crime. What we know is there was a small 8% uptick in property crime in California, but guess what? There was an increase in homelessness. There was an increase in evictions. There's a lot going on. And the people that want to stand in the way of reform are trying to fear monger, which they've done for decades to stand in the way of reform. And when Ms. Lacey says, that she thinks we should be more thoughtful about reform, will join the conversation. Don't oppose it, join the conversation. Tell me what we should do. How should we reform? Don't just oppose every single reform that the voters have voted for. I, I think I'm the only person who has a tangible idea of what we need to do today and now. I think we can start by getting rid of that inherent 
bias and conflict of interest by exploring the use of independent prosecutors. My question to my esteemed colleagues on the stage is what are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? Are you gonna continue with not prosecuting law enforcement? Are you gonna voice an idea, a plan on how we can move forward now? And I have to say I'm concerned that Jackie Lacey was uh, opposed to uh, the, the, the bill when it was previously drafted and supported it when it was watered down because now what we have is a law enforcement use of force that it, was, it, it is only permissible when it's necessary and we need a prosecutor who is gonna argue what necessary means. We need a prosecutor who's gonna argue for an expansive definition of what necessary means. And these statements today make me have a strong belief that Ms. Lacey is gonna argue that necessary means the same thing as reasonable. I am running for district attorney precisely because I'm a former public defender. There's a movement across this country of public defenders running for prosecutor.